Hello and welcome to get for tech Chats. The aim of this format is to deliver a short presentation on our product in five minutes. This presentation is about dual matrix, how to combine polymers and lipid excipient to make robust sustain release tablets. If you want to know more about the feature of single matrix, then watch the tech chat called Straightforward Lipid Matrix Tablet and Mini Tablets for Sustained Release. In this tech chat, you have the explanation and comparison between an HPMC matrix and a lipid matrix. As a reminder, when you are working with a single HPMC matrix, generally you are using this excipient around 30% and generally you are using two different grades of HPMC with different viscosity in order to obtain the right drug release profile. With lipid matrix here with Compritol 888 ATO, then you just need this excipient and generally you are using it around 20% to achieve drug sustained release. So the question is now, why using a dual matrix? Well, firstly, if you have issues with your single matrix. Secondly, if you want to reinvent a sustained release formulation, or if you have two drugs or high dose. Firstly, when you do a dual matrix, uh, it's a simple mixture of Compritol 888 ATO with only one grade of HPMC. So in dual matrix, the ideal ratio is 10% Compritol and 15% HPMC. Secondly, you can reduce the alcohol quantity used in wet granulation. As you know, when you have a single HPMC matrix, wet granulation requires the use of alcohol to avoid swelling of the particles. In dual matrix, Compritol is not soluble in water, so the alcohol amount is limited from 50 to 20 percent. Dual matrix can also help you to optimize the powder characteristic for compression. For example, when you are developing a high drug dose, formulation with HPMC can exhibit flow problem. In dual matrix, Compritol having lubricating properties powders have better flow characteristics. Last but not least, dual matrix also can reduce drug release viability. When it is due to HPMC, like excipient bad variation that can impact drug release, or due to Compritol 888 ATO that can exhibit variation during storage that impact drug release. The dual matrix can erase all drug release variation. This is an example. You can see here, firstly, single matrix with HPMC from various sources. Here you see the drug release is different depending on the HPMC source. If, if we use the same HPMC, but we are making a dual matrix with Compritol 888 ATO, then you see there is no more variation in the drug release. I would like now to uh, present you an example of dual matrix developed by Catfossil Laboratory with metformin hydrochloride. As you can see, metformin hydrochloride is available today in the market under the brand Glucophage XR. It's a very well known anti diabetic drug. Today, the market reference is an hydrophilic polymer matrix system made with two different HPMC polymers. So, the idea was to compare this market reference with a dual matrix. Gatfossil Lab has developed an alternative to Glucophage XR using a dual matrix with Compritol 888 ATO at 10% and Metocell K100M at 15%. This dual matrix was obtained by direct compression and as you can see on the dissolution profile, 
we obtain a perfect match with the market reference. Here the strength was 500 mg. Another formulation containing higher dose with 750 mg was developed and as you can see the only difference was the adaptation of the amount of Compritol 888 and the Metocell K100M so we had to increase a little bit the amount of these sustained release agents. If you want to know more about this please check our website or contact Catfossé. See you soon for another Tech Chats.